Hello everyone, you're watching Why the Track. This time, I just would like to talk about what I think is really important in tray flips just one more time. Sorry for talking about the same trick over and over again, but I promise after this I will move on to another topic. This time, we will talk about this common saying, tray flips are easier when moving. I too personally think you should try this trick while moving, no matter how slow it is. But why, scientifically? Perhaps it has something to do with the weight distribution. You're watching Why the Trick, and today we're going to study a trick scientifically. To understand why it is easier to tray flip while moving, we first need to understand the board's trajectory in this trick. Generally, by scooping the tail, a tow side wheel of the rear truck becomes a pivot point, grabs the ground, and swings the board outward, then the board lands on the tow side. And obviously, to land it, we need to find a way to stay above the board. It is just like what we talked about in Puff Charlotte's. If our feet are not directly under our bodies, as we try to push down the ground, we wind up sending our bodies to the other direction of our feet. So if your body is located on the toe side of your board, you don't have to try to jump forward because it happens naturally according to the physics. And that way, your body is already floating over the place where your board will be, and the board slips under your body as your body starts to fall toward the ground. Please take a note, this cannot be the other way around. If the board goes to the toe side before your body does, there's no way you can land it anymore. If you remember Tao Pai Pai from Dragon Ball, he breaks and throws a pillar into the air and jumps on it. In fact, someone actually proved it that it is possible, but we are not him. So make sure to keep in mind that the shift of the weight has to take place before jumping. Now that we know the basic concept of the trajectory of the board and the weight distribution, let's also think about why it is easier to do this trick while moving. In other words, does doing this trick while moving have anything? to do with the weight distribution. Once again, in order to land the trick, our bodies have to be located on the toe side. What would you do to achieve this? Leaning forward is an obvious option, but it is not the only way. Instead, what if it is a skateboard that moves? Wouldn't that still do the same thing? You may think that's impossible, but if you take a closer look at my tray flips, my board goes to the heel side here, here, and here. And why do you think this is happening? As you crouch down, the majority of your weight is on your front foot. And the front foot that is on the heel side of the board pushes it down and tilts it. Since I'm moving, as soon as the board leans to one side, it starts turning to that direction. And after crouching down, I start lifting up my body, releasing the pressure of my front foot. Then, my front foot no longer pushes down the board. As a result, the board stops turning. On the flip side, when I try flip stationary, although I may actually tilt my board due to the same physics, as the board is not moving, it simply does not go to the heel side. Please note, the slide of the board alone is generally not enough to place our bodies at the right spot for this trick. In fact, depending on the setup of your board, your board may not tilt as much as my board does. And you might actually have to jump forward further than I do. There are so many more variables like your weight, hardness of bushings, types of trucks, and speed and everything. Plus, you don't have to try to intentionally push down the board, it just happens naturally. So please take a moment and try to find the best weight distribution yourself. Lastly, just FYI, you can see the 3D model on my website. Just click this icon, and you can do everything. You may zoom in for details, change camera angle to see what's behind, slow it down if you need more time, display grid lines, and change transparency. 
please give it a shot and give me a feedback. And that's all for this episode. As promised, I'll be talking about a different trick next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching as always. Until next time.